right, you mentioned our next guest. We're going to get to know a little bit more about the Bearcats. Let's welcome in Aaron Smith, covers Cincinnati for Bearcat Journal. Aaron, welcome back to Sons of UCF Live. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks for having so, me. So, what, what's your quick take? You know, you don't you think we're dissing that skyline chili? Uh, <laughs> People don't appreciate it unless they're from here. It's it's actually a Greek dish, if believe it or not. Uh, it was it was based in Greece. Um, n- no pun intended there. Uh, but it's uh, I don't know. It's it's phenomenal when you. And what's on it? It's, it's got the spaghetti noodles. It's got spaghetti the, the noodles. Chili. It's got. It's, I don't know if you can call it chili. Honestly, it's like a meat sauce. <laughs> um, and then and then you can get your uh, either cheddar cheese or habanero cheese. Um, depends on what kind of mood you're in. But there, now in that sauce, there's some cinnamon to that. There's a hint of cinnamon. Um, I believe there might even be chocolate. Um, Oh my goodness! Chocolate. I don't know. I've had this before, but I didn't know about the chocolate. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's this. The recipe obviously is pretty secret. But so it probably looks better on the way out. Listen, <laughs> I mean, I'm not ever worried about what I was looking on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> if I ate like that, I wouldn't eat anything. Uh, Eric, let's talk about Cincinnati. I think most fans that follow college football, watch the AAC, certainly thought, okay, they lost a lot of guys to the NFL. There's going to be a pretty significant drop off. Hey, hey, look, Cincinnati, top twenty team. What was your thought about that going into the season? What ex- uh, what drop off did you expect if any? Uh, there was absolutely going to be a drop off. You lose Desmond Ritter, you lose eight more guys to the NFL, and I think there were even two more, two or three more that ended up on practice camps during the summer. Um, it's certainly going to be a drop off. That said, Coach Luke Fickle and his staff have continued to build uh, three of the last four classes have been the best class that the school has ever recruited. And when you continue to stack classes like that, it's really hard to have a tremendous drop off. Uh, So also you have coach Luke Fickle and his staff at the helm. So that said, I mean, you kind of set yourself up if you're going to have this type of a drop off to at least be able to reload more so than rebuild. Aaron, give us a scouting report on quarterback Ben Bryant. Obviously, big shoes to, to fill with Desmond Ritter. How has he played so far? When has he had his best, and where has he struggled this year? Uh, ben is maybe the one guy that I have seen in the quarterback room as this is his second stint in the Cincinnati quarterback room after taking a brief hiatus at Eastern Michigan. Uh, he's got, as far as Des Bryant goes, he's he's got that same kind of swag in that he his highs are not super high, his lows are not super low. And I think that's probably the, the best thing that I've heard coaches say about him. Um, he is not going to be a giant threat, much like your own quarterback with his legs, um, but he's also not afraid to run the ball. I also don't know if he knows how to slide. Um, that said, he, uh, he does like to sling the rock, and these receivers definitely appreciate it for it. Appreciate him for that. Coming into this game, what are you most worried about as a Cincinnati fan? Is it maybe just playing in this atmosphere that's going to be there? Is it a player on our team, or is there some weaknesses on your team that you're scared of that we're, we take advantage of? Well, we know that the bounce house is known as quite an environment, but Cincinnati has won there before. Um, although homecoming, well played. Uh, I have people have asked why they would schedule homecoming against Cincinnati, knowing that it was going to be a tough game for both teams. And I I think it allows you to offer your best haymaker. Emotions are going to be running high. You don't want to lose homecoming in front of your home home fans. It's an extra reason for people to be in the stands. And despite losing to East Carolina, um, I, I don't think there's going to be any give up in the fans for this team. That said, John Rice Plumlee is a dual threat. And Cincinnati has struggled with dual threat quarterbacks this season. Um, as you've seen from both Tulsa uh, and uh, um, who else was it? It was oh so- South Florida, actually, not, not Tulsa, um, South Florida and Arkansas to open the season. Um, so I don't, I'm, I'm nervous about that. Jabari Taylor, uh, the senior leader on the defensive end, uh, is going to be probably a game day decision and we'll see uh, as far as stopping the run. That's certainly something that this team has struggled with. Alabama was a, a glaring point, but this team's also only lost three games in three years. And those teams were sec teams. So there's something to be said for that. Tell us about Ivan Pace jr. The, uh, the linebacker. 
dog. He is an undersized linebacker, but he is a wrecking ball. Uh, his brother Deshaun has played here. Uh, this is his third season, I believe. Um, they went to school together, obviously. Uh, Ivan was smaller, ended up going to Miami, Ohio uh, for a couple of years and was the Mac player, defensive player of the year uh, for the Mac and has not lost a beat as people expected. There would be a drop as he went from Mac competition to a C competition. That's simply not been the case. Uh, he is everywhere, and he is going to continue to be everywhere. And honestly, he will more than likely be a nightmare for both you this week and any other team that we play the rest of the season. Let's talk a little more about your running game. Charles McClellan has come in. Obviously, uh, Jerome Ford <laughs> leaves last year. McClellan seems like he's as, just, as much of a problem as Ford was last year. What kind of running back is, is he? Charles McClellan is a – He's a he's a definitely a leader on this team. I believe this is his fourth season now with Cincinnati. Uh, he's actually given both his knees to the university, as he's had to have both of them replaced uh, in his time at Cincinnati, and it's been a long road back for him to get to where he was an explosive runner again. But here he is, and uh, I've I like to refer to him as not Chuck McClelland, uh, short for Charles, but Chunk McClelland, uh, because he has gotten tons of chunk plays this season and i i can't believe i didn't think he was going to be i, I even said it on a multitude of our shows uh, i didn't think he was going to be a bell cow type back i didn't think he was going to be the guy i thought he's more of a change of pace back and he has proven me wrong i've had to go back and apologize <laughs> on our show because he i he i was wrong i was wrong wrong i think a lot of our fans interactions with cincinnati fans have been on twitter and we know how Twitter is. Mm -hmm. You can't really vouch for fans that way. But the average Cincinnati fan, do they consider UCF to be a rival right now? Funny you mention that because Coach Luke Fickle did mention in his uh, presser on Tuesday uh, that UCF is definitely looking to be a, a growing rivalry. And it goes back to Coach Luke Fickle probably has a little bit of a bitter taste in his mouth for a game at the beginning of his tenure with Cincinnati that was called due to rain. And he didn't like that the game did not actually finish. And ever since then, I'm pretty sure he's probably circled this game every single year in a big red Sharpie on the calendar. And it, it's continued to provide plenty of entertainment, be you a UCF fan or a Cincinnati fan. And I think that that's especially going to continue for years to come as both these teams graduate to the Big 12 together. Do you think they were going to come back in that game? Is that what I, you couldn't have I, that. I mean, you ask a coach, you ask a head coach if he thinks he can come back. He's not going to – no, we would have seeded. Like, no, that's not ever going to happen. Come on, man. <laughs> on that note, do they consider – do your fans consider West Virginia your chief rival in this new look Big 12? It's hard to say. Uh, with Bob Huggins being there on the basketball side, uh, there's – Definitely a connection there, and they used to be a rival back in the days of the uh, the Big East um, Conference USA. Um, but that said, I mean, we, we I don't know that the rivalry is still going to be there. I don't know that all the fan bases are going to care the same way that both Cincinnati and UCF fans are certainly going to care. That that's not going to change. Uh, so I don't know. I, I I guess wait and see. Gotcha. Let's wrap up with this. We've talked about offense, defense. What about special teams? Uh, where 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 the Red Bearcats been this season in special teams? Special teams has been a rocky road a little bit for uh, the kicker that we brought in from Delaware, Ryan Coe. Uh, although last year, or I'm sorry, last week, he was five of six, setting the school record for most field goals in a game, um, and uh, I, that may have even been his personal best. I'm not sure how he did at Delaware. Um, so he's he's definitely on the uh, – he's trending up. Uh, the punter, on the other hand, had a, a conference record last week with an 84-yard punt. Um, he does have the Aussie-style uh, punt in his arsenal. Um, and he uh, he's only a sophomore, but he is from Australia, as has – this is now the second punter in a row we've had from Australia. Um, but, yeah, I, I, he, I know that – he definitely prides himself on trying to get it uh, 4.5 seconds in the air, 45 yards, and no return. I think that uh, teams are averaging one return yard uh, on the season against him. 
Um, so he's been pretty consistent. Was that a wind-driven punt? It, it get a good bounce? Uh, it was. Jeez. There was there were thirty mile an hour uh, sustaining winds down in uh, in Dallas this weekend. So uh, it was it was definitely wind driven, but it also went out of the end zone. I think he kicked when where he was actually kicking was from his own seven, and it went like that wasn't where the ball was snapped, but where he actually kicked from from the seven and it went past the uprights. Not bad. Let's end with this. Tell us more about Bearcat Journal because uh, no doubt UCF fans are we're going to be seeing a lot of Cincinnati in the years ahead. Yeah, Bearcat Journal. We've been a uh, we are hosted by twenty four seven Sports. Uh, so you can find us at www.bearcatjournal.com. Uh, Chad owns uh, Chad Brendel. Uh, people are very familiar with from UCF with him. He is he, he likes to go at the fans. He likes to stir things up. He, he does. He, he's not one to shy away from fan interaction, good or bad. Uh, but but he uh, he owns the site, and he and I uh, host a multitude of podcasts we have a sunday morning podcast to kind of recap the game from the day prior uh there's a monday evening podcast where we have a former um walk on who joins us uh we have a tuesday evening podcast where we cover cincinnati sports we have a wednesday evening podcast where we preview the upcoming weekend game we have a thursday night podcast hosted by two former players um and a, and a third host um, we have a nightly 20 minute podcast where we cover, um, anything Bearcats. Uh, we, you can check all that out on Bearcat journal on YouTube though. So what you're trying to say here is that Adam, Mike, and I aren't doing enough. <laughs> we're, <laughs> what it sounds like. we're No, no, we're, we're just busy. I mean, content is King, right? I mean, wow. Wow. we all know. So, all right, Aaron Smith, we thank you for your comments on Cincinnati. I'd say good luck, but I wouldn't mean it. I know. Ex- I say the same thing to anybody I'm going against in fantasy football the same week. So <laughs> I, I will be down though. My flight leaves at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I'll be there in the press box. I'll look you up. Be I'll safe. Yep. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron.